Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to fix most of the issues requested and needed in this stand of two on PC video that I missed out on or just appeared in the meantime. Stay tuned because I will post a GFG file made by me and tested for every single one of you that assures you have the best HUD for stand of two without any issues included. Firstly, let's talk about your PC's issues with this emulator. The Bluestack emulator has different versions, the 4th and the 5th. I've talked about them in the last video. For average PCs, Bluestack 4 is the way to go, but keep in mind that these are the PC components of an average PC. Anything above these components may still be considered average for Bluestack, at least if you have these motherboards. If you are not having one of these motherboards, you should not stay on Bluestack 4 anymore. If you are on a laptop and your components vary, just test both versions of Bluestack. Bluestack relies on CPU performance and motherboard selection, so if your motherboard is above what I've shown in the list, use Bluestack 5, and the fourth version just doesn't work well with those motherboards. If your CPU is not the best, or maybe it's very good but you've got an RTX card, then I've got bad news. Your RTX, being such a good graphics card, won't really go above 20 ish percentile, which means your processor will remain at 60 to 70 percent and your GPU will barely work. That's just how this these emulators work. They are not detected by our PCs as a literal game. How do we solve this? Managing and optimizing for example our mouse delay, the processor's performance, the GPU's performance, the power plans we can choose for best output performance in Bluestack and ultimately in Standoff 2. Some Windows optimizations that I've not shown or specified that their need and importance in the last video, watch out this video if you don't have all the Windows and Nvidia optimizations. Let's begin with the mouse optimizations. Install your manufacturer's drivers, if you have a Razer mouse install Razer Synapse for example once you're done, open it and go to pooling rates, select 1000 for my Razer Viper 8K. I can use up to 8000 pooling rate, but while using that I get stutters. Frame drops literally from my mouse being too fast and the processor not registering every uh, mouse input in a second. So select just 1000 Hz for mouse. Once that is fixed, go to Windows, Mouse Settings and select Additional Mouse Options. Go to Pointer Options, then tick this box and set the pointer speed to 6 by using your arrow keys. After that, close it and go to Bluestack, Settings, Display and select Custom DPI under Pixel Density and type 999, that's the max that Bluestack can handle, that's what we choose. I recommend also using over 800 DPI in your mouse manufacturer's settings, I use 1600, but that's so your mouse inputs all the clicks and movements accordingly. Remember, you can always change it later once you close the end of queue and play your other games or watch YouTube. Secondly, let's do specific GPU optimizations. Go to Windows, Gaming, Graphic Settings, and tick this box if you haven't yet in order to reduce delay on the GPU and output more performance. Then browse like me here in program files, Bluestack NXT for Bluestack 5 or whatever says Bluestack on the fourth version and select HD player, then select again HD GL check. Both should be set on high performance once selected. Then install with my Mediafire link, MSI Utility V3, you will have it in the description. Open it in administrator and disable and re-enable the GPU box right here. Then select high profile and apply in the right corner. Then leave the app. Thirdly, let's do the last processor based optimizations. Type msconfig in the Windows search bar, go to boot advanced options, tick this box and select the max number of processor. For me it's 16, then press OK, apply, OK. OK again and exit without restart for now. Go to Bluestack settings, then in the performance tab, select the max amount of your RAM you can for your RAM availability. For example, I have 32 GB of RAM, I select the max, which is 12 GB. If you have 16, choose 8 or even 12, because Bluestack is not going to use 12 GB. It's just going to have them available. It is usually going to use between 3 and 4. I've tested it. If you have 8 GB of RAM, choose 6 by enabling the custom option and type 6100 
44, which is the binary number for 6 gigabytes of RAM. Then even if your monitor doesn't have 240 hertz, just set the unlimited option, which for Bluestack the max is 240 by enabling high frame rate. And let your PC work harder for picking those FPS higher than it wants. For example, your monitor supports 120 hertz. By selecting 120 FPS in Bluestack, most of the time you will get 100 to 120 FPS. I guess that's for the majority of people. By enabling 144 or even 240, if your PC can get more than 120, it will try harder, thus enabling you to fully engage those 120 Hz of yours. Then open Stand of 2 and select 120 or 165 FPS, whatever the max is for you. Now that you're here, I will give you a free GFG file for Bluestack HUD and for Stand of 2 HUD. Go to Stand of 2 in HUD options press reset to default this step is very important i am now recording from the future do exactly like me in order for the cfg file to fit perfectly on the default hud if you don't do the same it will interfere with the binds see i said cfg i'm definitely from the future to go to under my video and enter my discord server once you've entered you will see a channel named gfg file for default stand of 2 hud press on it and download from the mediafire link once downloaded open stand of 2 hud again go to bluestack hud in game controls you can change the opacity here by the way then select controls editor in the right corner you will see an import button press on it and select the gfg file you've just downloaded now you have a perfectly set hud you can tell me again that the screen moves when i change the weapons my screen can touch this button and things like that because i've set them accordingly to the game nobody gives gfg files that under 500 subs gained from stand of 2 most of my subs are from other games so please help me out by staying in the discord server and by pressing on the subscribe and like button see you all into the next one